Hey everybody, uh, I am not here at the beginning to tell you that my microphone is uh, bad again. This time I am delivering you a content warning because these episodes have some sexual assault in them. And uh, so if you're if you're watching along at home, that's a thing. Um, but we also talk about it. So content warning for sexual assault. Hey, welcome back to Ali's Anime Club. We watched some episodes. Really did. <laughs> yeah, I really hope y'all were in the right headspace for that because I completely forgot about those last two episodes and I was like, holy shit, I was the one that was interested in this. <laughs> yeah. God damn. <laughs> that shit went from, hey, that got rough. Yeah. Uh yeah, we watched uh episodes 7 through 13 of Heavenly Delusion. Um just as a as a quick interesting side note, I looked up the um the animation company that did mm -hmm. uh this in it turns out they were also responsible for uh, FLCL. Oh, huh. I can kind of see that. Yeah, uh, and uh, Psychopaths. If you've ever heard of Psychopaths, I've heard of both. Not seen either. Seen FLCL. Never seen uh, Psychopaths. Uh, FLCL is very good. That's one of those cardinal classic animes people like yeah. talk about. Like uh, Cowboy Bebop. It has one of my favorite anime robot designs. Yeah. Head As you may be able to tell if you've seen uh, my little <laughs> um, VTuber person. Oh. I have seen that. Yeah. Yeah. I like TV heads. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. Some fucked up shit happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm glad I decided to take a few more notes as I went this time along because I definitely would not remember anything except for those last two episodes had I not. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, everything happening in, like, the the complex is in the past, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got that figured out. And Mario's yeah, gotta be one of those kids. Yeah, because, like, the the second there were the, the blonde twins, I was like, oh, okay, this is this is the past. Yep, that's what did it for me as well. Um, but then it gets even more obvious when they're like, uh, planes falling out of the sky. They talk about planes falling out of the sky and it's like, oh, I don't think there are planes. Yeah. In, uh, now the one that got me was, uh, I, so this is one of the later episodes. I think it's. You know, I've spent a lot of this friggin' series of episodes here just going, repeatedly going, what the fuck am I watching? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there was uh, the guy on the roof who, you know, took himself out and the mm -hmm. girl. I didn't make that. Con I didn't even think I made that connection the first time around. 
is the same guy as it's it's the guy and the girl from earlier in the the, the one with the hearing with the ears and the, yeah the oh. weird hair ears. yeah oh and, my god because they showed the he, pin yeah I yeah. didn't realize yeah, that. Yeah, when he puts water on his face and gets his one side of his hair up like that, he, it's like, oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. I I didn't. Yeah, I I never thought about that. But yeah, you're right. And he's also he also speaks in like the same kind of monotone. Sure does. True. I didn't realize that girl had ears, by the way. Until <laughs> is that. <laughs> <laughs> It, she has like weird hair ears. Yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah. You know, kind of a great design, honestly. I love that. Yeah. yeah. When they just perk up and you see the, like the whole hair lift up, and it's like, oh, okay, so that's interesting. That's that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Very unique uh, thought process went into making that. Yeah. Uh, I I feel like I missed some context though because, uh, the place where I watched the show didn't have subtitles for oh. any of the written stuff. Oh, so I I I felt like I was out of the loop when she was like communicating Via with the with the text the tablet, yeah. and they didn't they didn't like read it out or anything. I was like, what? Huh? I felt that pain a little bit, but I understood that was supposed to be a touching moment. I had yeah. subtitles there. There you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot of like, I want to look at this guy one last time. Thank you for your eye. Thank you. I love you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so it was the guy's eye. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. his own eye that he'd given her. Well, that's sweet. And yeah, that whole. God, this whole. Man, the back half of this season is friggin' brutal. <laughs> yeah. It is, but also, like, it, it feels like it doesn't go anywhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. S simultaneously, yeah. You're not really, like, like you're, you're putting some pieces together. We figured out it's past and post and pre-apocalypse, but it's it's like, okay. It's got that one season anime curse, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did finally announce. I I was looking up a bit before this. They yeah, they they announced a second season. They just have to wait for the manga to oh. go further because they 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 like made this really close after the manga. I didn't realize how close it was. Then, dang, that's pretty yeah. unusual. They 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 apparently still don't have enough material in the manga to make another season. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Um, and this came out like last year, so. Well, I'd rather they wait than pull a Game of Thrones. Yeah. And just... Oh yeah. <laughs> just just kind of go winging it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's kind of what happened with stuff like uh, Full Metal Alchemist, the original Full Metal Alchemist mm. anime. Is they had to put in a bunch of filler to catch up to the manga, and then eventually they like outpaced the manga and had to make up stuff. Mm. That's gotta be I, so weird as like a writer. Yeah. It wasn't. I will say I didn't think the original was too bad. I didn't even notice it too much. Mm -hmm. I did when I watched Brotherhood and went, "Oh, okay, now that's a lot more concise and nicely done." But when they did it, yeah, yeah but yeah, Brotherhood is a lot closer to the manga because it came out so much later after the manga had already finished. Yeah, I think I just... It was years between me watching the two of them, but I don't remember being dissatisfied with the first one. Mm hmm But I don't know if I... I don't know, man. I mean, see, look, I watched Berserk, so, like, this isn't... This is... Or not watch, read, I guess, because whatever, but... uh. Even then, I'm like, I'm not sitting here trying to deal with all the Berserk's bullshit that happened in the middle and mostly in the beginning. I, I don't want to deal with that. So I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's a lot. I think the uh, the the one thing that I will say in, I guess, in its defense is that it handles it very maturely. It did a lot better than what Berserk did, that's for damn sure. Mm. It it does 
it does it a lot better than a lot of <laughs> like media that portrays sexual assault. Yeah. Anime um, in general is not too great for that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I I think I appreciate the fact that like Robin like he doesn't know that Robin is that way until he shows up as a woman because like he was always mm -hmm. a little boy. Yeah, and and you know people people like that, like abusers like that, usually you can't tell that they're an abuser just because like of how they act around you, especially if you're not their target. Right. Mm. Might provide some, depending on the quality of the mangaka, it might provide better story and character growth. That said, this shit is still fucking wild. People, yeah, people having kids. Yeah, fifteen-year-olds having kids. Yeah, what was up with that? It was like the most accelerated pregnancy in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like there was a time skip. It, uh, yeah, I feel like does. we had we must have had a time skip. Oh, and uh, it was finally we got somebody else who's been putting their brain in other people's bodies. Yeah, yeah. I guess it could also be like we, it could just be a time skip without like any other signifiers to right because it's all in the past anyway. So that's fair, right? Yeah. Didn't they say? Uh, well, yeah, it kind of just crept up. They said, uh, what was it? Uh, Tokyo would be uh, gone for a week or two or something. A couple weeks is what they said, maybe. I mean, they did say that the baby was in her for several months. Oh, they did? Oh, okay. Yeah. I missed that. Well, they when they gave her the baby, they were like, this baby was in grew inside you for a oh. few months. Huh. God, they had okay. these kids so friggin' ignorant. They had to explain that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I I think it's I think it's wild that they were just like we never explained sex to them. How did they have sex? And they're like, because it's <laughs> like it's like in our <laughs> nature. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then they just if <laughs> if like people had to have sex explained to them. <laughs> then we would never have Can you existed as a species. The human race dies out at the start because, <laughs> because no we don't know how to sex. Nobody knows how to have sex. Are we a bunch of pandas? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like these people who are supposed to be so smart and they're like able to fucking grow genetically modified humans. Like, we still don't and they know, can't... like, entirely what they were doing, right? Like, because, like, the lady wanted yeah. bodies or something to, like, she transfer wanted... into. Yeah, she she wanted a, a body that wouldn't die. But, like, weren't there also, like, her, like, subordinates who seemed to have some plot against her? I don't know. They didn't really explain Yeah. That. I kind of wonder if the... I think... Kids... I think what... So, I think... My my theory for like the the explanation of what that facility was all about was they they were kind of like a doomsday prepper organization that was gonna like repopulate the earth after um after like an apocalypse. Uh and so they they like took kids in with the uh with the like explanation that like oh these these kids are going to become like the progenitors of the new civilization but also like they they were doing these experiments on them to try and make them like immune to disease and mm -hmm. super strong and and shit like that uh so that the, the like uh director lady could live forever so that black and she, you she had her own like ulterior motive. You remember that little black egg thing from the last set of them? Oh, I forgot about yeah. that. Yeah, with uh, with uh, Maru reaching into people and like 
popping whatever those uh, you know like heart looking things the cores yeah, yeah. that that's kind of what those look like i'm thinking about at least and then maybe maybe but then you got the you got the they had the when when they went to the immortal order and they were doing that whole yeah. thing they had the uh man eater in the basement that was like a, yeah. a mind fuck man either. Yeah. That he blew up its uh, heart or whatever. And then after they did that, they're like, oh, they killed our doctor or whatever. So was that, or not doctor, whoever the lady was, they were mad about them killing. No, they killed the, they killed the dude. No, no, no. I think he's talking about like the, the resistance, like organizer. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, the resistance. Yeah. yeah. Where they were, they were like suddenly all gung ho about, Hey, let's take. I don't know what happened there. Yeah. By the way, their like organization name being just called Live Human, like Live Human, is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It sounds very uh, modern corporation to me. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that in some sci-fi. Live human. But what were yeah. you saying about uh, them murdering her? Well, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Yeah, they they killed the one. That I was feel in like the that was a. That was a part that I like. I got distracted by something else, and then I was like, "Oh, <laughs> something important happened that I missed." Okay, I so like, the, yeah, they no. they go kill. They go talk to the resistance group. They're like, "Hey, kill these things in the basement, so we can talk to the people in the mortal order." And then they do that, and then the the people have been protest like staging this like protest to distract them from people getting into the basement. Uh. And so the the protesters like throw a rock, and it breaks a window and goes into the little hallway that they're, like all the security people are hanging. In. One of them throws it back, and it, like bounces and like knocks the lady off of like where she's being on like someone's shoulders or something like that, and she hits her oh. head on the ground and dies. Oh. And then they're like, "Oh no, they murdered her. Let's use her as a martyr and go kill all the people in the building." Yeah, <laughs> I had a real rev- American Revolutionary War start type thing there. Huh? Yeah, little drummer boy. Uh, but yeah, the lady that was up there—if that lady was uh, Mimi Hime, then yeah, they were turning into a man eater. Yeah, yeah, they had the disease or whatever, right? Like that, presumably. I'm assuming that's what happened to the kid who died when he was sick in like the past, like who left the little egg yeah. case behind. Mm-hmm. But I guess so, it must just be like the they experimented on them. Oh no! Now they all get sick. Oh no! Now they become monsters when they die. Yeah, and and that's where I'm trying to connect the dots here. Uh, some of them seem to become monsters, but that one kid, the the one that was still with Mimi Hime, whose name I forget, didn't. Uh-huh. Become oh a yeah, that's true. Yeah, Cause it seems like it seems like some of them are more like genetically unstable i guess that could than be. others he and he wasn't it, like a, a, a he didn't have funny ears you know yeah well <laughs> he also he also didn't have like really uh obvious powers i don't know if he even had powers that's a good question other than being like real monotone <laughs> right. He seemed he seemed like he he was just autistic. <laughs> yeah. Another thing like don't they like literally say like okay the the either, either the AI or someone in the facility is like hey your job is to go complete this test and become Hiro- Hiroko on the outside or something like that, right? Like which they is like interesting. The N- they they yeah. used they said like you are Hiroku or whatever. Whatever but they didn't. Possible. They didn't say like you will become them. They said that it was they were already okay. Interesting. That Maru's. Uh, but also he... that was in a dream. <laughs> yeah. What the f- wait? All that was not a dream. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, was that part of the like the Asura stuff? Maybe. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that, that whole Asura thing was bizarre. Like. I don't really know how much of that was a dream and how much it wasn't because someone did hang themselves. We never got a fully right. good look initially. Then we get kind of like a replay of the day sort of thing. And it's this floating alien child who suddenly grows wings with that little symbol that all the man eaters have and just hangs himself from the ceiling. So yeah. I, 
but then they're still there? Like, Mimihime can see them? Yeah, it's like... And and she's also talking to her after uh, she's already dead. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, I I feel like there's some... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with that whole thing. I just, just alien kid... Uh, uh, yeah. Alien Kid Asura, throw some sunglasses on it, do some finger guns. Also, they definitely ran out of money towards the end of the season. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't yeah. look it up, but they they were just like, you know what, let's just color some storyboards for these important plot points and not animate this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like flashback. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen an anime do that before. I've seen a- also um interesting use of uh what's his name as a voice actor? Who who Oh uh, what the guy I always confuse with Matt Mercer. Yeah, that doesn't help me unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. The, he's in everything. You, see, when you say that, the only person I can think of isn't the right person because there's no way you confuse him. What? I think of that, uh, shoot, the guy who did, like, he did, uh, Spike and Cowboy Bebop and whatnot. Oh, Steve Blum? Steve Blum, yeah. But that's, that's not who you're yeah. talking about. You can't confuse No, that's people. not who I'm, yeah. who I'm talking about. Oh, uh, what's his, what's his fucking name? <laughs> I'm blanking on it. Eh, we'll figure it out. Morrow's a creep, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's weirding me out. I don't like him. <laughs> I would not be comfortable around him. Weird, <laughs> weird consent issues. Yeah. How old are they again? This, I, uh, Mario was fifteen in this. Yeah, Mario was fifteen. But I think I think Hiroko's or sorry, I forgot their name. Uh, Hiroki. Yeah, Haruki. Hiro- Haruki. Haruki. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, is Haru- 18? Haruki's well, Haruki's I think like 17, 18, something like that. In the body of a 20-year-old. So, I mean, sub subtitle translations might be different, right? But I was looking back through some of the thing and it's like when they go into the swimming pool room, the machine's like uh to to reach what's waiting beyond outside is your role as as Hiruko. Which mm-hmm. is just, I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Yeah. <laughs> beyond the outside of the outside. Yeah, I don't... Like, was the AI against the lady? The, the director? Maybe that's what they were doing when they were, like, messing with yeah, it's hard to tell because like sometimes they work together, but sometimes they just seem to like be totally separate. I'm trying to figure out how much of this intention <clears throat> is intentional and how much is just bad writing. Yeah. Also, did 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 um Tokyo have twins or like where did the second one come from or is it like a one of the monster babies like became also that shape? They don't explain it. They just yep. yeah okay just, okay I figured I just yep. wasn't sure if I missed it. <laughs> They deliver the they kids, were... you don't see the kids, and then when you see a kid next, it's two kids, and the... you're like, okay, so yeah. did she have two, or did she have one, and that's what happened to the monster baby that's in there. You and know? then and then when when they're talking about, like, how he mixed up the kids and, like, where where the kids are going, uh, one, of, one of the, like, staff says, oh, I didn't know Tokyo had twins, uh, and the the... Scientist guy says, "Yeah, in a sense." Oh, so <laughs> okay. So probably Monster Baby cloned it or something. Could yeah, could could be Monster Baby clone. I we mean, don't know. That makes sense as to like why it matters, so they could tell one apart from another. Hmm. Should have tattooed that baby or something. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Really... Who wants to bet that Mario's the Monster Baby? Yeah. Does seem to have that weird connection that whoever his teacher was said, "Oh, only you could do it." He also like yeah. healed really fast that one time, right? His tooth or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Just casually, his tooth, back into his it. yeah, his tooth grew back. Also, uh, he's able to just uh 
beat up armed adults with his bare hands. Yeah, he's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very dur durable, a little a little extra strong. I saw a theory posed that uh all the kids turned into monsters. And that's like one of that, that like that whip thing was one of the monsters, but I don't know if I buy that because right. like I don't really I don't think any of the kids really fit that description. I don't think mm. like I, I I would doubt that like it would just be just the kids or monsters and so we can like one to one like align the two. Right. But like if they have the genetics for the disease and they leave the facility, then either they can spread those or just die and become a monster potentially, right? So like eh. Yeah. Also, that kid with the glasses is a f friggin' nightmare child. Holy crap. That's scary and sad and all sorts of things. Oh, yeah, yeah, Oma. Is it, was that their name? Yeah, the the one that had the really dark sunglasses, and if you mm -hmm. took them off, you just... Oh, I'm gonna I'll take them off. It seems like I'm getting punctured by a bunch of needles and just ruined. Yeah, the okay, so Juichi is not uh, voiced by who I thought he was. Oh, the uh, bandit guy. Yeah. Breeding pig guy. <laughs> <laughs> Four number Four eleven. eleven. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I um he's voiced by Jonah Scott. No name he's like familiar. fucked up, right? Like is that do we ever figure out if that was his kid or if it was his monster? No, it was a it was his kid. Okay. But when he, uh, when he like got accepted back, he killed the guy because he squealed. Yeah, that that was the guy who like, uh, yelled that somebody was escaping when he was. Oh, I see, I see. He was escaping. Yeah, I didn't quite follow that bit very well. Uh, it was a weird little side story. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if like. Also, just like. Showing this this uh, anime has some weird uh, thoughts about women. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I wonder if um, like you know the whole incident with the king of hotels before. Yeah. I wonder if the reason that Mario could like almost kill. I guess no, he kills. No, but I wonder if the reason that he could all he could like do his little thingy on her was because she was in some way related to these escaped children. I don't know if that's true or not, but, like, it only comes up there and with the one Mimi Hime, right? Like, so... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, then, also, there's that, that kid of his that he had with the the ladies that number 11 had with him. That kid yeah. just friggin' freeze people to death. Yeah, that kid probably is a, a little bit of a monster. That's a terrifying thing to have to deal with as a parent. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh kid throws a tantrum or you know he was he wasn't even throwing the tantrum he was just sleeping but yeah it seems like because the the um neither juichi or his like baby mama <laughs> had had like the weird powers so it seems like maybe kids are just being born with these weird powers? Maybe. I mean, we don't really know, I guess. Yeah. But maybe the mom did have some sort of power or something. Maybe. Yeah, that's the hard part is, like, we don't know where any of the connections are, right? But, like, yeah. since the <laughs> since the facility stuff is in the past, it could affect the future in any number of ways. Right. Unless it really wants to show us those lines. It's weird. So, the lady who raised Maru, yes, presumably is like the director's assistant lady. I would, ass I guess, at this point. Or that would make sense. Because so right, there's two kids. One of them went with her, and then maybe the other one, maybe the twin, went with like the guy or something. Maybe I don't know. I'm trying to. Well, we don't we don't know what happened with. The, the baby that got given back to Tokyo. Oh, true. I forgot there was one with Tokyo. She kind of... 
she kind of like Roid rage grew around it. That's right. That's right. She became like a meat tree. Yeah. It's a very disgusting, accurate way to describe it. <laughs> yeah. She did become a meat tree. Yeah. And then some bright yellow glowing light when it got into the uh, op administrator. Yeah, there, there's just a lot of, still a lot of loose threads. More connection and understanding than where we were before, but as uh, as Arrow said, I don't really know how much we got. Yeah. I mean, I would I would be interested in knowing how these, like, plot threads resolve yeah this is like one where like i don't know if i'd watch whatever comes next yeah i i don't i yeah i don't think i would i would watch the the second season but i would definitely like like to figure out what's what's going on yeah yeah it was it was pretty yeah it got it got extreme (laughs) Mm -hmm. essentially also, I'd like to know more about the doctor who did uh, Haruki's surgery. I would have preferred to meet that guy to Robin, but I guess Robin's, as being the less important character, would be, you know, more appropriate to meet this early in the show. Right. They didn't kill him, huh? No, they didn't. But Maru said that if he if he saw him again, he would kill him. Well, at least he's got that part of his head on, right? Yeah. Kind of wonder if that's coming from the wrong place, but, you know. <laughs> Dude put a friggin' crack in a concrete wall. Yeah. <laughs> like, when he kicked that wall... And didn't even... Better. Didn't even see, seem to hurt himself. Nope. <laughs> just cracked the concrete. Yeah, I think this is something I'll probably just forget about for a long time and then just pop by and go, oh, hey, look, that's all done. Let me see what happened. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was I was thinking in the, like, pantheon of fucked up anime, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. like you have, you have the ones that people always talk about, like Elfin Lead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I I feel like at least with Elfin Lead, you kind of know what you're getting into in the be- like the first scenes because it's like a naked woman uh, killing a bunch of people and ripping them apart. <laughs> yeah. Yep. This this, um, this anime really sneaks up on you. Yeah this this one kind of sneaks up on you because like it's in the beginning it's just like oh these these two people are like wandering a post apocalypse and like they're pretty good friends having having fun times and and maybe they have to beat some people up <laughs> 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 like you don't you don't realize that it's going to be like really messed up <laughs> by the end of the season yeah oh yeah i feel like most anime that do what this one did like you said give a bit of a heads up the few ones i've watched that do that they're pretty messed up to begin with so you kind of have an idea of what you get into like what you said and yeah right. yeah this one i guess the most warning we got really was just it started getting a little sexual yeah but like still the robin thing is like completely out of left field like I didn't right. when the scene there I don't there was no hints to that coming. Right. As far as I'm aware. Which I feel like kind of worked just because it made him a more like realistic abuser, but yeah. At the same time, like it kind of sucks that it just comes up on you like that. Yeah, I'll definitely need a more lightweight because you're not ready for it. <laughs> after it's this. to see something like that intense. Oh like yeah, the, like a character you like, right? Like, yeah, yeah. And and it made it made them ex- not as a good thing or anything here, but they uh, were exploring themselves like mentally a little more after that, and they got outside in the grass and stuff, wondering like, hey, how much of me is me? 
we got some existentialism. Yeah. Worth it? Mm, I don't think so, but, you know, <laughs> do what you do. Somebody's into it. I need a happy anime after this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the one that I've I've picked out because I've I've kind of decided that we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna like swap off who picks the anime each time. <clears throat> um, the one that I picked out is a lot more uh, lighthearted. <laughs> I was expecting, you know, it's de you know, it's it's definitely not like a campy Fallout vibe from this, right? This, despite having a nicer environment and a less like, you know, gloomy setting, still, uh, still really, you know, I said in the previous one we did that, hey, it's nice to have something that's a little more upbeat. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, so I just realized something. Yeah. The the monster in the basement of the Immortal Order was the kid with the sunglasses. Maybe? They both had the same powers. Yeah. It could definitely be it. Yeah, that could make sense. Also, like, maybe maybe he may like wanted to take care of that kid. Like, yeah, makes sense. That they end so, up together. Yeah, hmm, that would make sense. I guess we'll get it. Well, we won't, but <laughs> it'll get confirmed <laughs> somewhere, or yeah. or not confirmed. You know, I don't know if it'll get confirmed. It's kind of weird not. to have an anime be this close to the manga manga. Yeah. Um. Well, it's, uh, apparently there's, like, so, so the first season was, like, the first 35 chapters of the manga, and they've got another, like, 20 chapters done. Okay, so they're, like, about halfway through. They, the yeah. They've, they've confirmed, at least, that another season is happening. If this were an American, uh, production... They would have just fucking made it up. Oh, yeah. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> they don't want to wait. No. <laughs> Money me. Money me now. Also, uh, weird, weird thing. Um, so the, uh, the, the company that, like, published this anime, uh, is NetEase Games. Oh yeah, I've been seeing that name in the end. Yes, yeah, I was wondering it's, about that. It's really weird. It's uh, NetEase um, made for one. They made Dead by Daylight Mobile. Okay, but they also they also made a Dead by Daylight clone with Tom and Jerry characters. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yeah, it's it's out. so fucking it's so <laughs> fucking awful, weird. I don't want to play it. They're a, they're a Chinese company, um, and they they made uh, Naraka Blade Point. I heard of that, which you you might have heard of. Um, they made uh, a a Marvel uh, MOBA that's getting shut down next month, and that I've <laughs> never heard of. <laughs> yeah, Marvel Super War. Oh yeah, my god. god. Uh and Tom and Jerry Chase, which is it's 2D Dead by Daylight with with uh Tom and Jerry characters. Wild. I'm not, I didn't even know Tom and Jerry still had a market. Yeah, apparently in Thailand. <laughs> oh man. It's very popular in Thailand. All right, I guess I gotta start getting some dub Taiwanese Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yeah, wild. <laughs> <laughs> and then they also they also like recently uh, made an anime publishing division, 
and and started publishing anime. Was was this their first? Uh, I don't think so. Because if this, I is... think they they started doing it in like 2020 or something. I don't even remember when this came out. It says 2018. Oh, wait, uh, no, anime was 2023, so never mind. Way later. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the apparently the first one that they did was Cells at Work Code Black. Oh, okay. That actually that went over really well with people. Yeah. I watched a few episodes. I don't think it was for me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Cells at Work is fun. Cells at Work Code Black is more mature. Still kind of fun. Okay, so maybe I didn't watch that. I might have just watched the original one. I didn't realize there were two different ones. Yeah, Cells at Work is is just the one that's like, oh, cutesy, like they the they're in a body and they. Mm-hmm. I think I watched like I I probably watched three episodes of that. Um, and then Code Black is like. There's there's a bunch of cells in a body that's uh like addicted to like that's an alcoholic and like smoking all the time and like the oh, it's the it's fucking remake. hell. Now that yeah. sounds fun. Honestly, I yeah. like that a lot more as an idea. There's a <laughs> There's a um there's a bit that gets used as a reaction image all the time because there's a there's a bit where they're trying to like the the guy's trying to have sex and so they're trying to get him to have an erection <laughs> and, but it's hard because his body's so fucked up <laughs> uh and so there's a line that's like a decent erection is impossible under these circumstances or something. <laughs> that sounds irritating. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we, we got off topic a little there. Heavenly, yeah. Heavenly delusion is, uh, it's okay. It's a lot. Yeah. I'd talk about it. I wouldn't really recommend it. Yeah. Probably the same. I must have blacked out those last two episodes because I didn't remember them in the slightest. Up until I started uh, episode 12 and then she got to the bridge when she found out about Robin and I said, oh, shit. (laughs) 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 And then suddenly it all came flooding back. I was like, no. (laughs) So, yeah, this is one of those ones I forgot about for a reason. Um, anyway, uh... I mean, I guess uh, I guess we've got we're we've got enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I feel like we've said all that can see bet be said. Freaky alien kids, evil administrators, brain yeah. swapping, uh, <laughs> sexual assault. It was yeah. all in the past. Yeah, it was all in the past, and now it will be again. We still don't know. I guess exactly like what happened to cause the world to go to shit, but there were airplanes falling out of the sky or something. Y2K. Yeah. <laughs> Just a hot take, Y2K. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was Y2K the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> the technology level isn't fitting, but the planes falling out of the sky is. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, next time, we're going to be watching Great Pretender. That's a, it's a, it's a heist show. Yeah, it's a heist anime. It's very good. I watched it uh, when it first came out on Netflix. Because it's, it's a Netflix... It was a Netflix original in the US. It was, it was like, aired on TV in Japan, but it was, it was only on Netflix in, in the US. Mm, I guess... I guess uh... What what did you get for your plugs last time? I guess it's I guess it's time for plugs. <laughs> Arrow, I don't I don't remember what you gave last time. I didn't really give anything. To be honest, I think I said my you... Twitter account. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I don't. I'm not super active anywhere right you... now. Yeah, you you stream on Twitch sometimes. It's very infrequent. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
but that's going to be linked in the description. And uh, where, Chris, where the fuck? Do you have anything yet? <laughs> what are you, the FBI? <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> nice try, FBI. <laughs> you can't find me anywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah. And this, this is my channel. This is where I do channel. everything. Yeah, yeah, click the button, and the bell, or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the, do that. the like and subscribe thing. Like and subscribe. Uh, as, do they and still hit that do that? Bell. Do they still scream, like, smash that like button? Do they still do that? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Although, now now they do it in the middle of the video, because that's that's a better way to, like, get people to actually pay attention to. But I don't do that. Well, I helped you do it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the like button. Need some air Subscribe. Air horns. Yeah. There, Leave a comment.